Hey guys, just wanted to do a video and let you know. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, been doing a lot of testing lately, so I th this video is about being able to run ELRS, which is a long range RC protocol, on a regular RC car transmitter radio that does not have crossfire protocol. It puts out a PPM signal through the DSC port for um, a simulator and it'll now it works with ELRS thanks to a dev over there who wrote a firmware fork that allows the module itself on the transmitter to um, decipher and see which it checks to see which signal first so if it's on PPM that's what it uses if it's on crossfire protocol that's what it uses it just so this will work with it should work with pretty much any transmitter that you can hook a simulator up to that does it through the DSC cable so anyway I'm just gonna plug everything in real quick and show you that everything is working and then I'll pause the video and then show you what I did with the transmitter and stuff because it's not that hard but what I need to make sure of first that you guys know is that this is not an official release of ELRS firmware. This is not in the firmware that they use for building in the configurator and stuff like that. I had to go through some other steps that I can go over later with you on flashing the, the module and stuff like that to have everything working. So anyway, I'm just going to turn stuff on now and show you that it it links up with no problem let me plug in the transmitter and the module and you can see by my the fan on my transmitter that the module is on and powered up now I've got my module this the module that I'm using does not have a LCD screen so I know from setting it up on another transmitter that it's outputting a maximum of 100 milliwatts dynamic power and it's a 250 hertz packet rate so and then I'm just gonna turn the car on and you'll see the blue light will go solid and once it goes solid you've got a solid link you can you can see the wheels moving and you've got throttle and brake So it, it works flawless. I've ran probably 25 packs through this already, just testing. So now let me move the car out of the way. This is my speed run car, by the way. And I'll, I'll be doing another video on this car at a later date, going into more detail of what I have in the car and, and stuff like that. So the, the main the main thing today's video is about it like I said is the ELRS so what I did was I made a simple cable okay it uses the port let's see here it uses the crossfire port so you've got a you've got a pin it this is a, a simulator cable that plugs into your DSC port and then from that one of the one of the wires gets soldered to the crossfire pin on the module and then the other one goes to the ground and then it just grounds to the battery so it's kind of like a common ground all the way through the system and that's it for the cable and then I 3d printed the the little case for the side and just double-sided sticky taped it on there the, the main the main thing that I wanted to make sure of is that that was that's the biggest issue with a lot of RC car transmitters is that they put out a PPM signal and you need a crossfire signal to um solve that problem to use ELRS. Crossfire you can use PPM on it and it'll convert it or you can change it in the module to PPM or whatever it is. Um, ELRS is only crossfire only till now with this fork 
like I said, it'll auto decipher when you power it up, whether you're using a PPM signal or a crossfire signal. And like I said, so so far with the testing, I, like I says, I put a ton of packs through the car already with the Radio Link transmitter. This is just a, this is the cheapest one right now that Radio Link makes. It's like a sixty-four dollar transmitter, and it's been working fine. I want. I was gonna do the the eight X because it actually puts out. It's supposedly it's the only radio that puts out the actual Crossfire protocol. But it's like $320. So if I didn't need to spend that much money on another transmitter, then it was a, a win for me. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to put ELRS on a less expensive transmitter. And one more note. I did test this on my Flysky GT3B. And it also works on that transmitter. Which, which kind of tells me that if you've got... An RC transmitter that puts out a PPM, PPM signal through the DSC port for a simulator or anything like that, then it should this firmware should work. Um, I'm in the process right now of waiting to hear back from one of the devs that actually built the fork. If it's okay for me to post the fork in the link description and stuff like that. I just want to make sure I do things the right way because like I said, I was I kind of took this on as a test thing because I wanted to see if it could be done and it can be done. So, I will wrap this one up here and give you more updates as time goes on and you if you know if you watch the the description in the video um as if they allow me to put the link to the fork and stuff like that in there, I will. I'm, I just wanted to mainly show that it will work on other transmitters other than the uh, the Radio Link 8X. Okay, so I'll wrap this up here. Um, if you guys want to subscribe to my Discord, I'm over there a lot, and that's where a lot of this stuff happens. And um, I talk about it more there than I do YouTube. Um so thank you everybody for checking this out. And I think this is a huge plus to a lot of people. I'll talk to you guys later.